I just received my uh, 2017 Gibson Firebird Studio T. Uh, it was a musician's friend stupid deal of the day. And it was just priced so low I couldn't really pass it up. I had been in the market for a Firebird for a while. Uh, I'd actually purchased a used Joe Bonamassa Epiphone Firebird. Uh, but it was just wasn't in a good, great shape. I bought it used from a Guitar Center in Pittsburgh. It was shipped to me. It was missing parts. I had to switch, uh, the pickup was switched out and this wasn't good. So I, had, I ended up returning that. And then, oh, right after that happened, this was the stupid deal of the day. So it kind of worked out. And I decided just to go for this one. It was actually hundreds cheaper than the other one. So hopefully it's just as good. Purchased this, it was actually no longer even available, so I don't know if I got the last one or what. But the next day I had gone on just to kind of check the specs on them again, and they didn't even have it listed on their site. Gibson USA on it. It's black. It's got some decent amount of padding to it, so it feels. Let's see how it looks. Tobacco sunburst finish. Looks pretty good. Feels good. It's cold. Just got in from outside. I usually let them warm up for a bit before I open them, but I don't think there's an issue anymore with the finish they use unless it's nitro, which this is not. There's something that says only a Gibson is good enough. American flag on it. Got the Firebird logo there. With the two regular humbucker pickups, not the mini humbuckers. Didn't think that was a big deal. I guess I would have preferred the mini humbuckers, but for the price, I couldn't pass this up. It's got decent weight, pretty light though. Lighter than a Les Paul, that's for sure. And you got your volume tones. Looks good. I'll have to tune her up and give it a try, and I'll post a video on that as well. So I'll also go ahead and see what else they might have sent along. Alright, so they sent a strap. A really thin piece of leather, maybe fake leather. Uh, owner's manual, warranty card, some kind of a cheesecloth for cleaning it. And trust rod adjustment tool there. Inspection date, 2817. Little checklist that they went through. And they sign off on it. It's a picture of the guitar. This always kind of cracks me up. It's always like a low quality picture next to an old fashioned like, computer with old speakers. I don't know. It's just kind of funny. It's like some guy's desk. But that's what they do. Or at least they did. I don't know if they're going to do that under the new CEO. But that's it. Gibson 2017. Firebird Studio T.